Didier and Didier Morgan, let's talk about the association fees on condos. What am I talking about? Well, we talked about having to get the condo approved through Fannie and Freddie, but we really need to be aware of how much money it costs to get it done. What does that mean? Well, when we have to get the uh, condo docs, the bylaws and the budget, and we have to go to the association, they charge the borrower a fee. And we don't even know what that fee is. We could guess 200, 300. I just had one that was $400. So when you're doing a condo and you're having to deal with the management association, you want to find out to get that condo approved, how much does it cost? Is it a two, three, $400 fee? And don't forget, the borrower has to get approved. So it's really a two part series. It's one, the condo has to get approved. The borrower has to get approved. And how much does it cost for the borrower to go ahead and do their interview? So that could be hundreds of dollars. So I just wanna make everyone aware from realtors to borrower, when you're buying a condo, what do we find out? Not that it's gonna stop you from buying the condo, but in order to have your closing costs and have more accuracy, you definitely want to know what does it cost for Fannie Freddie to get those that package from the association, the management association. You kind of ask that question up front for the listing agent. Also, how much does it cost for you, the borrower, to go get the interview? Those are the two expenses I wanted to share with you because it's coming up more and more, and it seems like the prices are going up and up. I'm Didier at Didier Mortgage trying to share with you what's going on, things to look out for, and to educate you on mortgages. Please subscribe to my videos. They come out once a week and learn and grow with me. Thank you so much and a great day.